Hey guys, welcome back to Going Global, where we step out of our backyards and into someone else's. My name is Olivia Fox, and if this is your first time listening in, welcome. Here on Going Global, I sit down to have conversations with people who have traveled outside of their backyards here in the U.S. to explore different countries and their unique cultures. We hear stories of their adventures and learn more about the world around us. Today, I am sitting down with my dear friend, Grace Lehman. Grace has been fortunate enough to travel many different places, such as China, the Philippines, and France. But today, we're going to hear about her time in Spain. Grace, thanks for joining me today. Thank you for having me. I'm so excited to be here. Awesome. So before we get started, let me tell you how I usually go with this podcast. I, first of all, just want to hear the basics about your trip, but I ask all of my guests three basic questions. What's your favorite thing you did there? Tell us about the food because we all know that's the best part of traveling. Oh, 100%. Right. And then tell us your favorite memory from the trip. I like to hear those fun stories about the people you meet and places you go. So let's get started. Just tell us, you know, who did you go with? Why did you go? Where did you go? Just give us all those details. Yeah, so I went to the Basque Country, which is located in the northern part of Spain, and a little bit of it also goes into France as well. And I went in December of 2019. I went with my family, so my mom and dad, and then my three sisters. And we went um, to Spain to visit my family that lives over there, so my aunt, uncle, and then my cousins. They, and they have lived over there for about five years, I think. Wow, that's super cool. We don't always have people on here who actually go to visit family. So that must be different than just going and kind of being on your own out in the world. Yeah, it was definitely different because all of the other places I've been to, for the most part, we didn't really know anybody. Um, and so it was a lot of fun to go and go to a new country and a new culture and be with people that not only you're super familiar and comfortable with, but people that have also just lived there. And so they understand the culture and um, yeah. Okay, so since they live there, they must have tons of things they wanted to do with you, but what was your favorite thing that they did with you? Um, Let's see, my favorite thing. Honestly, probably just walking around their town. Like their town that they live in is Zarauts, which is located right by the water. So they have a beach on one side and then they have the mountains on the other side. It's beautiful. Um, And I've heard about Zarauts and I've seen pictures from Zarauts, you know, ever since that they live there. And so it was so exciting to finally go there and seeing it. Like their town is adorable. There's quite, there's, I think about 10,000 people that live there on average but like it's a really it's all compact into like a really small space and it's so cute like all of the little shops that they have like little bookstores and cafes um and even their train station is really cute oh my gosh i love it i love little towns i love going on vacation when there's little shops it makes for the best souvenirs and i kind of get a little carried away with souvenirs so that makes it extra difficult when you're on a plane and You can only take back so much. Oh, yes. I had to plan very carefully what I wanted to take back. But, yeah, and especially because um, it was Christmas time because we went over Christmas. Um, Even, like, their little downtown, which has, like, the cobblestone roads. And then all of the buildings really close together. They had lights hung, and it was beautiful. That sounds magical and out of a storybook. It really was. Okay, now on to my personal favorite part, the food. Tell us all about it. Tell us your favorite food. Tell us what was different that we don't have here and we Mm -hmm. all will just be dying to go to Spain now (laughs) to eat it. And tell us maybe what you didn't like. When you go to Spain, let me know because I want to go back Oh, just for all of the food. You have to go with me (laughs) if I go. Yes. So hands down, my favorite food that I had there was the chocolate con churros, which is churros. And you dip it in this really thick, hot chocolate kind of like hot fudge consistency and 
just like the fried cinnamon sugar churro dipped in the dark hot chocolate. It was it was so good and I think about it a lot. That sounds amazing. I've never even had it and now I'm going to be thinking mm-hmm. about it. <laughs> Um, was there something weird that you did not like when you ate there? Was it just all amazing? All the food that I had was amazing, but that was probably because for the most part, I stuck with what I liked. <laughs> um, and because they live right by the water, seafood is a huge part of their culture and they have so much seafood. You know, there I had a lot of opportunities to eat seafood. I know I don't like seafood, um, so just looking at it grossed me out. Um, And so I didn't really, I didn't touch it. I didn't eat it. Okay. And then the final question, what was your favorite memory? Just get into it. I want to hear all about it. (laughs) Um, Well, there are so many good memories from the trip, but probably one of my favorites is one of my friends, one of my Basque friends, Nora. I've known her for a couple years. She spent a couple summers with us before the trip. We were going to go see... Uh, Star Wars The Last Jedi in movie theaters um, and so but to s- watch it in English because I I couldn't watch a movie in uh, Spanish what? You <laughs> no unfortunately <laughs> not I'm not fluent at all um, we had to travel to San Sebastian which is about 20 minutes away by train and her family also owns a really small apartment in San Sebastian, so we were going to watch the movie and spend the night there and then come back the next day. Um, but we went earlier in the day around lunchtime, and then we were just walking around the city and, you know, like going souvenir shopping and getting food and stuff. And when it came to supper time, we couldn't decide where to eat, so it took us forever to get food. And by the time we went to this one restaurant, Um, They were so busy, like packed everywhere. And so then we got shoved into this booth in the basement and there was a lot of people everywhere. And so, and then of course, because they were so busy, it took forever for our food to come. And so we literally got our food like 10 minutes before the movie was supposed to start. Oh no. And so we're all scarfing down our food as fast as we can um, because we obviously don't want to miss the movie. And I had a really big sandwich. Apparently, I was really hungry because I ate all of it. (laughs) And so then we had to run to the movie theater. And I had just eaten a very full meal. And we're all, like, running as fast as we can to get to the movie theater, which was about, like, I would say it wasn't too far, but it was probably close to, like, 10 minutes away. And we got into the seats just as... Like, you know how, like, they kind of do that narration at the beginning with, like, the text kind of, like, going across the screen? Yeah. Yeah. Like, we got into our seats just as that was ending. Oh, my goodness. That sounds so stressful. It was very exhilarating. Especially in a city that you've never been to before. But it also blows my mind that in America, we don't, you don't go to a movie theater and they have, oh, the choice between watching it in Spanish and English. Like, that's just not an option but the fact that another country whose primary language is spanish also has a showing in english i think just is crazy and mind-blowing yeah which i if i remember correctly it did have spanish subtitles well we don't have that here in america i'm sure somewhere there's a movie theater that plays them in a different language i'm sure i'm sure (laughs) well that was Kind of an amazing story, an amazing adventure. I'm sure you have so many more stories that you could tell us, but I guess we will have to settle for that today because we're out of time. But thank you so much for joining me today. We'll have to have you back to talk about all your adventures to different countries since apparently you just travel the globe now. Yeah, I would love to. Thanks for having me. No problem. Well, Spain seems like a beautiful place, and I would love to travel there sometime, especially after hearing about the yummy food. Thank you all for joining me today on Going Global. Tune in next week for another chance to step out of our backyards into someone else's.